Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas mission walkthrough or tutorial of sorts. This mission is the second mission given to CJ by Torino. And if you've already done NOE, I suggest you watch the video. I did previously about it because it gives you a little more hint on how to actually get through the mission without really doing anything dangerous as far as getting on the radar. But I digress. This mission is called Stowaway and it involves CJ and the Verdant. Heights Airfield. Let's get on with the mission and I'll kind of point some things out as the mission progresses. Ah, what's Torino up to now? I'm feeling a little exposed here. What's your take on this? Damn! I thought them was your people. Listen, Carl, we've got a problem. Some traitors from another department think they can help the overseas situation by financing militaristic dictators in exchange for arms contracts. Hey, ain't that exactly what you do? Well, kind of, but we get to pick our dictators. Degenerates that we can control. We try to stay the hell away from these guys with principles, because that just muddies the waters. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... Of course, these idiots have stolen a consignment of landmines and they plan to offload them in the Middle East and cause a little ruckus and everybody else crazy and have a lot of problems. I mean, Carl, do you like maiming people? I'm curious. Maiming? Some people? Shit. Anyway, the point is, you and me, Carl, hey, we're the same. Now, yeah, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. But if you screw this up, it causes a tinderbox situation all over Latin America and the Middle East. Now, look, I spoke to the big man. You got clearance to eliminate these fuckers. How's that? Huh? Man, kill government agents? <laughs> kill Schmidl. Come on, don't, don't look at it that way. <laughs> well, yeah, think of it as pest control. It works for me. All right, come on. I can't stay here now. I'm too hip. I gotta go. Okay? I'm out of here. The next part of this mission, drive the bike up the plane ramp. You may have to do or try a few times. I had to do this a couple times in order to get it quite right and get up onto the ramp and then onto the airplane. Once CJ is on the airplane you'll have to switch to a hand weapon and if you got that sweet cantana that you got back from amphibious assault you can attack these guys and, you know, decapitate them and continue forward to get the parachute. And it's kind of bloody, but you don't want to fire guns around explosives for some reason. You little punk! Excuse me. Carbon based. The guards keep insulting CJ by referring to him as a monkey or carbon based life form, which means they might be aliens. Ooh. Plant the satchel and run to the back of the plane to the far edge of the ramp before you blow it up because you're going to need to get off and jump quickly. Hit the button and jump and switch to the parachute to skydive down and that is it. The mission is passed. 
I'm going to fast forward through the skydive because I actually just showed it to you in the front of this video. After CJ has landed, either you have to get him a vehicle to drive somewhere for him to save, or if you bought up some safe houses in this area, there is one in Fort Carson where I'm taking CJ to save, then all is good. This mission was pretty straightforward, but can be frustrating. If you like this type of video, smash the like button. If you want to see more of this type of video, hit subscribe. I post every Sunday and Wednesday. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.